Welcome to another video. I have a problem here that looks very easy, but when you start trying to solve it, it becomes almost impossible. But it's actually easy if you go in the light of what I've been talking about in the few last few videos. Infinitely nested radicals. Now, you may not see this as infinitely nested, but you should have the intuition, just have it that this thing looks like it's gonna keep going. Because, actually there are two ways of solving this that I know. One is to make this, um, to write this as square root of three squared and then use a letter to represent it and then make some quadratic out of that. You can use that, but that again requires some skillful thinking. However, if you look at it in the light of infinitely nested radicals, the answer becomes pretty much obvious and easy. Let's get into the video. You may be wondering how this is an infinitely nested radical. Now let's work it out. What I have here is that three plus the, the square root of three plus the square root of x is equal to x. Now that gives you a sense of finiteness, that is, there is just some finite number that x is gonna be, because when you add something to it, you still get it, or maybe it's infinite, but I know it's finite because I'm looking for real x, unless there is no such number. But look at this. I'm going to write this to be the same thing as, 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of x, okay? But what did we say x is again? x is this. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of x. But what is x again? I go again and I write 3 plus. So you notice that this keeps going and it continues like that infinitely. So you just keep going. It's going to be the square root of 3 again. So I'm going to have another square root of 3 here. And then it will keep going, plus, 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 it goes on forever. So this one, I know x equals 3 plus something. I just don't know what that something is. And this looks like something I've talked about in the previous videos. And so I am going to assume that I'm going to say let the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus be equal to k. That's the famous k. <laughs> okay, so here I can say therefore what I'm looking for x is equal to 3 plus k. I just need to know what k is and then I'm going to find x. So let's begin. We say that k is equal to the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root, tap, 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 tap. And I said, if you remember the strategy I suggested, is because this is an infinite, uh, an infinite um, nest or infinitely nested radical, if you leave out the first one, it doesn't matter if you take just one of them away, because it's infinity, it doesn't matter what, you, what happens. A finite subtracted from an infinite is always infinite. So it doesn't matter if I start from here or I start from here. So I'm going to say let this also be equal to k. Okay, so it means I am saying k is equal to the square root of 3 plus k. If I square both sides, I'm going to have k squared is equal to 3 plus k. And then I can have k squared minus k minus 3 is equal to 0. Now can this be factored? 
Two numbers you'll multiply to get negative 3 and their sum is going to be negative 1. No, there are no such numbers. So I have to use the quadratic formula or completing the squares. If I use the quadratic formula, I know that k will be minus b. Minus b is minus minus 1, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared is going to be 1, minus 4ac. 4 times 1 times minus this is going to be it's going to be plus 12, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So the answer here is 1 plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 2. That's k. Now, there are two solutions hanging here. One of them is going to be, let's see. So I'm going to have k1 is going to be 1 plus square root of 13 over 2. 1 plus square root of 13 over 2. Now this is a positive number. Remember, every time we do this infinitely nested radicals, your answer will have to be positive because k, it is the output of a square root. Right? So because it is the output of a square root, it has to be positive. We cannot take a negative option. So this one passes the positivity vibe check. Okay, and then we go to k2 is going to be 1 minus the square root of 13 over 2. Well, the square root of 13 is greater than 3. So 1 minus a number greater than 3 is negative, and that's going to be a negative. We don't want any negative vibes, okay, in this um, area. So we don't want this guy. This is the only guy that qualifies. So let's go back and get what x is. Remember our declaration from the beginning? x is 3 plus k. Nice. So we say, therefore, x is equal to 3 plus 1 minus the square root of 13 divided by 2. If you do your basic algebra well, you get a common denominator. This is going to be 6 over 2. Okay, so we're going to say x equals 6 over 2 plus 1 minus square root of 13. Is it minus? Plus. Come on. Hey, this guy tempted me. See? Negative vibes. 1 plus square root of 13. We're taking this one over 2. So if you add up everything, this is going to be 7 plus the square root of 13 divided by 2. That's 7 plus rad 13 over 2. That is the value of x. And it looks like it is the only answer. Well, you would expect there to be just one answer if you're looking for real values. Since we're not looking for the negatives, then, yeah, there's only going to be only one real because there's only one answer that comes from here and plus only one number here. If you add them together, there's only one unique x. And that's it. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.